Stacy with Milbrant Vineyards in partnership with Ryan Patrick Wines. We are bringing you easy to go pairings. So look, if you're looking for a layered nine course gourmet recipe, you've come to the wrong place because this is all about easy to go pairings. And something that we're really, really proud of and a whole goal of this series is to bring you the dozens of food partners that we've created with family owned restaurants and artisans. We're pairing our wines with their dishes and they're extending their delivery discounts and their to-go discounts to, do, to you. And we're going to highlight who they are um, towards the end of this episode. So right now, since it's all about barbecue and burgers, I'm gonna jump in and talk about one of my favorite pairings. I actually got inspired by Butch Milbrandt because he said, sometimes simplicity is the best. And I went to my local BBQ place and I got some pulled pork barbecue and I'm gonna show you how to make these mini barbecue sliders. So here we go. Right here, all you have are four ingredients. Hey, do you guys remember these? Do you remember these? My mom used to buy these all the time, these Hawaiian rolls. And I finally found why I really love them because I used to hate them, but now I really, really love them. And let me tell you why. So these mini barbecue sliders, four ingredients. You've got the sweet rolls, you've got coleslaw, you've got pulled pork, and you've got the barbecue sauce. And I know you're gonna watch me make this and you're gonna go, this is the simplest thing in the world. But sometimes all you need is a little inspiration and a reminder that that's really all you need if you just kinda wanna go on the back porch and munch on something and pair it with a great wine, which I'm about to tell you which wine goes perfectly with this. Actually, I need a little bit more meat on that. There we go. Top it off with a little bit of BBQ sauce. And voila, a little bit more. You've got yourself a mini barbecue slider like you see here. I like my Texas shape board. I'm originally from Texas, and so of course I had to have that. And by the way, can I have you pan over to this little wine towel, tea towel? I want to thank Butch and Lisa Milbrandt for giving me that. Uh, sometimes what I like to do, if you see this plate right here, I like to have a little mini barbecue slider with some baked beans, yummy, yummy. So this is so cool. My local barbecue place gave me a quarantine bucks. These are called quarantine bucks. So every time I pick up food to go, barbecue to go, they are giving me one of these and I can use them at once whenever they open their dining room back up after the uh, stay home mandates are lifted. I can use as many of these as I want to buy a full meal. Now, we've actually highlighted a few places in your areas that are kind of doing the same thing, and uh, we're gonna go into those in a little while. But first, I wanna talk about our Milbrandt Merlot, which pairs perfectly with the mini barbecue slider. And let me tell you why. The barbecue sauce is pretty sweet, and what I love about this Merlot, the Bing cherry in it really comes out, especially with that sweet barbecue sauce. And even though the red fruit is forward, it's, um, it's pronounced, I would say it's soft and it's balanced, so it goes great with that barbecue sauce. Speaking of barbecue sauce and burgers and pairings, Lindsay Reynolds, our tasting room manager in Leavenworth, has found the perfect pairing with her Ryan Patrick wine to go with a burger. And when we come back, I'm gonna show you some of those great discounts. So Lindsay, Susie, what do you got out there? So we have partnered with Heidel Burger in downtown Leavenworth for some amazing treats. We're gonna be pairing Heidelberger sandwiches today with our Rock Island Cabernet Sauvignon. This is a wonderful comfort wine. It is full mouth feel, lots of raspberry, lots of dark cherry throughout with a touch of minerality to it as well. So a really great wine. So I decided to get a chicken burger with a piece of bacon on it because that bacon, that fattiness in the bacon is gonna break down the tannin in, in the wine. And then I like to dip it in some barbecue sauce because that little bit of sweetness from the barbecue accents that raspberry flavor from the wine. Cheers. <laughs> and again, another pairing, great Milbrandt Merlot. Just wanted to mention as well that this landed on wine enthusiasts, top 100 wines, and that means top 100 wines of the world. So landed on that list, and this is an $18 bottle of wine. You can get it at milbrandtvineyards.com. You can get Lindsay's wine 
at ryanpatrickwines.com. I want to highlight a few restaurants that are extending their to-go discounts. So first and foremost, if you live in the Bothell area, a great burger from The Cottage. Go to thecottagebothell.com. Unbelievable cottage burger. They call it The Cottage Burger. And if you mention Milbrandt or Ryan Patrick, they're gonna give you 10% off of any purchase. Out in Leavenworth, Wenatchee area, it's in Kashmir. If you go to Country Boys Barbecue, they are doing a discount, kind of like what this quarantine coupon card, they're doing the, the same thing. So take, check them out. And then last but not least, if you live in the Tri-Cities area, go to proofgastropub.com. They are giving 10% off if you buy one of their dinner cards, punch cards, a portion of the sales of those cards, uh, help support their staff. And last but not least, we are doing barbecue, Texas barbecue and burgers today. So Stevie Ray Vaughan should be on your Pandora station. That's my suggestion. And then as far as documentary on Amazon, check out Stevie Ray Vaughan documentary, Rise of a Texas Blues Man. Cheers. We'll see you next week when we do some bacon wrap figs and some of the most delicious Syrah you've ever had.